You may have driven by this nondescript series of buildings on the grounds of Palm Beach International Airport. Ordinary outside, but inside. A marvel of technology that most people have no idea exists here. We have operations 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, and we get people from all over the world. This is Flight Safety International, one of the world's largest pilot training organizations. The facility in West Palm Beach is unique, featuring mostly Sikorsky helicopter training in these multi-million dollar simulators that mimic the effects of real flying. These hydraulic pylons underneath smoothly move the cockpit side to side and up and down. The design of these simulators is nothing short of amazing. Um, Nintendo has nothing on these guys. In the cockpit, glass panels fan over 200 degrees, providing rich, crisp displays of airports and cities across the country, giving you the feeling you're cruising at 170 miles an hour. Rolando Pinto, we are responsible for people's safety, is a pilot training on the S-92, a bus-sized helicopter his employer will use to ferry oil rig employees from Holland to platforms in the North Sea. It's very good, quite interesting. We can practice everything, break everything, and uh, still flying. And not die in the process. Not die in the process. <laughs> Other simulators include the S-76, the aircraft currently used by the Tramahawk in Palm Beach County. Besides commercial trainers, there are military simulators like this one, which are off limits to civilians and were not allowed to videotape. All right. I got to fly the S-92 with program manager Dan Shank. How high are we up right now? Uh, right now? 900 feet? We quickly climbed from LaGuardia Airport in New York City, heading west toward Manhattan. Although the S-92 is a beast that can haul up to 13 tons, the chopper felt smooth and nimble. We're at 1,000 feet and climbing. There are hundreds of buttons, but I simply concentrate on the controls that impact direction and altitude. What was that? That's uh, part of the warning. Uh, Ground proximity warning system. I'm getting some altitude now so I can go over these buildings safely without crashing into them. Even though we're technically on terra firma, this is actually like a real aircraft as we fly through New York City. It even shakes when you're making a wrong turn. As I was taping that stand up and gazing at Lady Liberty in the distance, I forgot I was flying. Whoops, going down to After a brief nosedive, the flight through New York City resumed ordinarily followed by a debrief. That's you. Instructors can tell pilots what they did right and wrong through the SimView program, which records the entire flight with views of the cockpit, the helicopter in real time, and a look at the controls. How did I do here? I guess I didn't crash it. That's good. You didn't crash it. It worked out well. You had maintained good control. This is pretty much the only place in the world that you can get three real helicopters take them apart, put them back together again. Besides the simulators, there's a real live mechanic shop training as well. Mechanics throughout the world come here. They're trained hands-on and in the classroom to maintain the Sikorsky aircraft. An international 24-7 operation that you probably never knew existed in the heart of Palm Beach County. Juan Carlos Fanjul, CBS 12 News.